relief. It can be measured on Emmanuel Bigirama's family's face. He and his family could safely reach Rwanda from neighboring Burundi. They were caught in the country's latest political strife linked to the upcoming elections. Too afraid to sleep in their own home, Emmanuel decided the family needed to flee. They walked for more than seven hours to get across the border. The family are among the 25,000 Burundian refugees who have arrived in Rwanda over the past few weeks. Nearly half are living in this reception center. It is overcrowded and stretched. So space is an issue and uh, our services, though we have services in place, they are busting out of the seams due to the number of people arriving here. Izime Manamini fled with her five children. She too is relieved to be in Rwanda. Mimi Mukimbizi has said, in Tafta Nafasi in Guinea, it to work in Nafasi in Guinea, Kwa Sababu, Hapa, Nikaribia Mpaka wa Burundi. Wanaeza wale to make him be a Wakadukuta Hapa, Wakadufania Vibai. UNHCR is working with partners to move people as quickly as possible. Convoys transfer up to a thousand refugees a day from the center to the newly created Mahama refugee camp. 15,000 refugees have been relocated. But soon, this camp will be full. The violence in Burundi rages on, and so refugees keep coming. With thousands more expected, much more support will be needed.